Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Welcome back to the Exotical Storytime series. Um, if you are new here, the Exotical Storytime series is where black women who are mixed or black women who look mixed can tell their stories about uh, things that they've dealt with throughout their lives, whether it is pretty girl problems or um, people trying to invalidate our identities. And the reason that I'm doing this series is because we can't all be lying. A lot of people like to accuse us of lying or exaggerating, and I've noticed a very common theme to where a lot of people conflate being mixed and looking mixed with pretty privilege or you know somehow being more desirable or being higher up on the totem pole. Anyway, if you want to have your personal story get heard on this YouTube channel, please email me at exoticalsunited at gmail.com because this channel now has over 18,000 subscribers. So now we've got people listening to us. We've got people listening to our side of the colorism story, our side of the texturism and featureism story. So be sure to send in your story times to my email. This girl says, Hello, Exoticals United. I wanted to tell you my experience as a monoracial black girl. My English is not that good. I hope you understand me. I love your channel and I would like to send you some pictures of me. Could you please keep them anonymous? She said, Hey, Exoticals United. I am a 26-year-old girl from Germany. I am a monoracial West African black girl with a light golden skin tone. Both of my parents are African. My mom is a light-skinned woman and my father a brown-skinned man. Me and my oldest sister are light-skinned. She is more like high yellow and I have a more golden undertone and my three other siblings are brown-skinned. When I was younger, I never got along with the other black teenagers because they treated me differently. I think because of my skin complexion and I've always been asked if I mixed with something or if I was Afro-Latina, Brazilian or Cuban. They told me that I wasn't black enough, that I was weird and act white because I was a quiet person, I needed time to open myself. I had a white friend who came from Portugal. We were attracted to the same type of man. We both liked tall, handsome, dark-skinned men. She always got jealous if a black man or a Latina woman gave me compliments, or if they asked me, what are you? She always said that men or women never ask her those types of questions. Even her father asked me one day if I was from Brazil. She got mad and screamed at her father and said, she is black, she don't look like a Latina. Her father said there are many black people in Brazil who look like her. One day she started to tell people that she was a Latina, so they treated her better and found her more exotic. She was the more outgoing person and I was the more introverted one. She always gets approached by black men and meanwhile I wasn't getting approached that much. She showed her body shape more, meanwhile I covered it up because I felt like I had too much of everything. I felt uncomfortable. Because of that she felt like she was above me and said stuff like, black men like me more than you. When I started dating a black man, she always got nosy and wanted to know everything, any detail of it. One time she asked me, why do you always get treated better than me when it comes to black men? Is that because you're a good girl and I'm not? Black men treated me differently from her because I told them how I wanted to get treated. They took me out on dates, picked me up and drove me back home. We went on vacations and I was getting money, princess treatment. She told me that they only want sex out of her and telling her that she wasn't pretty and that her body is just fine. They never invited her on dates. That's why she tried to bring me down, because I was chubby. I have an hourglass shape with a bigger chest, belly, and butt. She was skinnier than me. She only had a butt, and she was in shape because she was working out a lot. She's been saying stuff like, I don't understand why they find you attractive. My body shape looks better than yours, etc. After that, I cut her off. That was in 2018. In 2022, we met and talked about everything that happened and how our lives changed and what we had accomplished. At the beginning, everything was good. Afterwards, she started to pick on me. She got mad because I finished school and for her, nothing has changed in her life. She still dates the same men who don't treat her good. I had a little glow up. She was intimidated and said, you still have your big belly and that I should get liposuction. She also said, you still date men with money. You are so materialistic. I'm not like that. That's not important to me. I only need someone who treats me good, etc. I cut her off again until this day. I've had unambiguous friends who were jealous about the attention I was getting from black men. One friend told me that she is jealous of my skin tone and she wishes that she could be like me. She started to bleach her skin and ask weird questions like, is that your real skin color? I never noticed that you were that light. What kind of skincare products do you use? Are you lighter than me? Another friend, she was a hairstylist. I asked her if I could dye my bundles honey blonde. 
She told me I don't want to do it because I would damage the hair and it wouldn't suit you. Blonde hair don't look good on your skin complexion. Two weeks later, she dyed her wig how I wanted to dye my bundles. The same girls tried to talk to the same guys that I dated or they found their Instagram accounts and slot <laughs> or they found their Instagram accounts and slid into their DMs. Even my own sister, who is brown skin, seems to be envious of me. She always gets mad if my parents or other people mention my name or if they tell me that I look pretty, that I'm lighter skinned, and I have a nice figure. She reacts and says really mean stuff like, I am prettier than her. She is fat. She needs to lose weight. She looks like she gave birth to five kids. When she talks to her friends, she says that our mom and I are light skinned, but in front of me, she acts like I'm not. Sometimes she says the same things that my old friend said to me. One day she got mad because I changed my profile pic on Instagram and she saw that I started posting pictures and videos of myself and said, who do you think you are? You act like a mixed girl. You think you're mixed. Your makeup products are too light for your complexion. My foundation shade is NC45 by MAC, Fenty Beauty 385, NARS Foundation Maria. Okay, so definitely light skin. She said, you are editing your pictures. You are not that light skinned. Oh no, the classic term, you are not that light skinned. She says, I don't know why attractive men could like you because you are not that pretty. They're only attracted to you because of your body shape. You have a MILF type of body. That's it. They would cheat on you anyways and would leave for someone who's prettier than you and who have a better body. My sister is a pretty girl who got her body done, BBL. Since that, she thinks she is better than everyone. I fell into a depression and I wanted to get my body done and change everything about me. Even though I got a facial chemical peel, I got burnt third degree burns. My face was three shades darker. It took two years to get my skin complexion back. In the end, I never got surgery. I just started working on myself and learned to love myself more. I love your channel since I watch your videos. I started to put myself first and appreciate my looks. Wow, this girl has so many haters. She is absolutely gorgeous. She showed me her pics, but since she wanted to um, keep herself anonymous, I'll just put pics of like some... Uh, celebrities that kind of have her phenotype and body type but yeah i'm not surprised it sounded like she had a white girl jealous of her an ambiguous girl's jealous of her and we can't all be lying we can't all be making these things up this girl is from a whole other country she is a 26 year old girl from germany and she is a light-skinned black woman she's monoracial and so for the people who like to say oh exoticals united you're including monoracial women on your youtube channel yeah that's because if you are a monoracial black woman who looks stereotypically mixed meaning maybe you have light skin maybe you have light eyes maybe you have a loose hair texture or um, very thin facial features people stereotype you as looking mixed and they start treating you differently or if you simply have pretty privilege or if you are viewed as very attractive especially if you have a nice body as well then yes people are going to definitely make fun of it but what do you ladies think is she just another delusional light skin or is it true what we've been saying on this channel the whole time which is that it is possible for people to be jealous of us I do believe that some people um, have internalized their own inferiority complexes or uh, beauty standards. And I've noticed that whenever you meet somebody else's beauty standard and then they don't meet their own internal beauty standard, they get mad because they feel like you look better than them. And some people will even say, you think you look better than me. You think you're better than me. And it's like, no, you think that I'm better than you because you're the one saying it. Anyway, what do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.